Hey everyone, and welcome to another session of Sarasal Dazzle Physics. In today's session, we're going to be talking about infrared radiation and looking at the emission absorption of infrared. So put down today's title, guys. It's going to be infrared radiation, emission, and absorption. Right, so let's get straight into it. So First question is, what exactly is infrared radiation? What exactly is infrared radiation? Well, look at the following scenario. We've got the sun over here on the left-hand side, and you can see the earth on the right-hand side over there. Right, heat is transferred from the sun to the earth via waves. So here we go. This is a wave over here. And obviously, heat transfer via waves. This is called infrared radiation. So infrared radiation, it's simply heat transfer via electromagnetic waves. So it is heat transfer via electromagnetic waves. I've got another video, guys, all about electromagnetic waves. Make sure you check that out, guys, after you've watched this lesson. So infrared radiation is heat transfer via electromagnetic waves. They all travel at the speed of light and they can all be reflected, refracted and diffracted. Yeah, and the last point is they can travel through a vacuum, guys. So they do not require particles to transmit their energy. Uh, obviously, guys, you can see that the sun is there and the earth is there. There are no particles between them, but the infrared radiation can still travel, guys. So infrared radiation, heat transfer via electromagnetic waves, travel at the speed of light, can be reflected, refracted and diffracted, and they can travel through a vacuum. So that's what infrared radiation is. Obviously, heat energy being transferred. Now, so scrolling down, uh, a nice thing to talk about is going to be that all objects can absorb and emit infrared radiation. So all objects can absorb it. So that means that some infrared radiation can go into it. Yeah, so it can absorb that heat. So let's put absorb over here. Yeah, and object can also emit it. So emit means come out of it. There we go. There we go. There we go. So they absorb going in and emit going out. So all objects can absorb and emit infrared radiation. Right, so the next thing we're going to talk about is what kinds of surfaces are the best emitters of infrared radiation? I put the word IR there, that stands for infrared. So the best way of talking about this is going to be using a device called Leslie's Cube. So Leslie's Cube is this. Imagine a teapot, yeah, a square teapot. Someone gives you a square teapot. Each of the sides is made up of copper. So all sides made of copper. Okay, so all sides are made of copper, yeah? And then someone then decides to paint the sides differently. So let's say we paint one of them, let's say black. So, okay, let's say we keep one of them black over here. Yeah, we leave another side maybe white. Uh, we never paint one another one maybe silver, and we leave another one spare, yeah? So the key thing is this. Well, let's put hot water inside it. So let's just put some hot water inside. So let's say if we were to add hot water inside. So we add hot water. So hot water goes in. Yeah, so we put hot water goes into it, guys. And therefore, we look at how much energy comes out. We measure the temperature coming out of it. Yeah. So the first thing is this. Do you think that each side will emit the same amount of heat or not? That's the question. Do you think that obviously they've been painted different colors now? Which one do you think will emit the most heat energy? OK, so here's a table of results of what we could obtain here. So we put the hot water into it and we look at which one gives off the most heat we can clearly see that there's going to be a variation in terms of which surface gives out the most heat, which one is emitting the most heat. We can clearly see that the matte black is the best emitter. What does the word matte mean? It means dull. Matte means dull, guys. It means dull. We can clearly see why, because the temperature is the highest. And obviously, silver will be the worst. Reason why the temperature is the lowest. OK with this? So obviously different surfaces will emit different amounts of heat from it. So let's have a quick summary, guys. So a quick summary will be this. So let's say on one side I've got a spectrum, I've got matte black, then it goes to shiny black, then let's say it'll be going all the way then to white, then to silver. Um, so we can say that on this side of the scale, this one will be the best emitter. So this will be the best emitter. Right, and obviously there are other colors in between. It's going to become the worst emitter. OK, so we've learnt that matte black is the best emitter and silver is the worst emitter of infrared radiation. OK, so that's the first experiment done. What about in terms of absorption? Right, so which surfaces are the best absorbers of infrared radiation? Right, we've got a heater at the bottom, we've got four different beakers now, all with equal amounts of water. So equal amounts of water into each one. So equal amounts of water. OK, right. And then let's say, for example, guys, we're going to then cover them. We're going to paint some of them. Yeah. So obviously the heat is going to go out. So heat is going to now going to go into it, each one of them. There we go. 
Right, so what about if we were to paint them different colours now? So we're going to paint them different colours and we're going to see which ones absorb the most heat, guys. So which ones are going to absorb the most heat? So as you can see, we've got now our table's a bit different. We've got matte black, silver, white and shiny black. So our table looks like first column is going to be the different types of surface. Second column is a start temperature. They had the same start temperature, obviously, because we had the same amount of water into each one. And let's say we were to then turn on the heater and see what was the temperature after, let's say, five minutes. So what is the temperature after five minutes? Right, we can possibly get the following results. As you can see, that we can see that the matte black had the greatest temperature change. So this one was a temperature change of 25 degrees Celsius. The silver only changed by 5 degrees Celsius. Uh, the white only changed by 10 degrees Celsius. The shiny black changed by 20 degrees Celsius. So what can we conclude? What can we conclude from this? Well, we can clearly see that some materials are better absorbers of infrared radiation than others. The best absorber is going to be matte black, so matte black is the best absorber. The worst absorber is going to be silver, why it had the least temperature change, guys. Easy stuff, yeah? So if, once again, you had the beakers of water, all of them, you heat them up equally, but you paint them different colours, you can clearly see that some of them will change temperature more than others. And we can conclude that matte black is the best absorber of infrared radiation. Okay, summary. So we learned earlier that matte black is the best emitter and silver is the worst emitter. But in terms of absorption, matte black is also the best absorber and silver is the worst absorber. Okay, yep, happy with this. So as you go across the spectrum, matte black is the best emitter and the best absorber. A lot of kids don't like that. They think, how can it be both? But it can be both, guys. Right, so let's test our understanding with the following question. So the question is going to be the following. Why do we wear white clothes in the summer when playing outdoors? Think about it in terms of absorption. So your brain should be thinking of the absorption. How much absorption is taking place here? So there we go. Well, clearly we know that white is the worst absorber of infrared radiation. So therefore, if you absorb the least amount of heat, therefore you don't heat up as much. Logical, yeah? That's the reason why, obviously, if you wear black, you'd absorb the most, you'd feel hotter. So that's the reason why you wear white clothes in the summer. All right, what about another example? What about which mug is better for your tea? So we've got two mugs here, one which is white and one which is black. Okay, let's imagine they're the same volume, yeah, the same size, same shape. Right, your mum says to you, which one do you want your tea in? Which one would you choose? Right, think about it. you want your tea to remain as hot as possible for the longest period of time. So which one do you want? Do you want it in the white cup or do you want it in the black cup? Right, it's about emission now, so you don't want all the heat energy to leave it rapidly. So you choose the white one because it emits the least amount of heat energy over that period of time. So white is chosen because it is a poor emitter of infrared radiation and therefore your tea stays hot for longer. Yeah, so that's the reason why and obviously your tea will stay hot for longer. It's happy days for you. Okay, so we're done for another session today. Let's have a quick recap from the top, guys. Let's have a quick recap. So right at the start, we said that uh, number one, infrared radiation, emission and absorption. Then we talked about what exactly is infrared radiation. It's going to be heat transfer via electromagnetic waves, the wave travel at the speed of light. Uh, as you can see, they can be reflected, refracted and diffracted, and they can travel through a vacuum. And that's how the heat energy from the sun reaches the earth. No particles are required for this heat transfer process. Right, then we said that all objects can emit and absorb infrared radiation. So as you can see, we've got this box here. It absorbs the infrared radiation. I'm missing an arrow. Let's put the arrow down there. And it will emit the infrared radiation as well. Scrolling down, we then said what kind of surfaces are the best emitters of infrared radiation? We had Leslie's Cube. It's like a giant teapot, square teapot, and different sides are painted different colours. We learnt that matte black is the best emitter, so the heat comes out of it the most. And silver is the worst. And then we made that conclusion that matte black is the best emitter and silver is the worst emitter. Then we said to you, what about the absorbers, guys? So we then had um, four different beakers and then we painted them different colours. Then we heated them up equally. We noticed that the matte black changed in temperature the most and the silver changed in temperature the least. And obviously that tells us which one is the best absorber. So clearly we can see that matte black is the best absorber of infrared radiation and silver is the worst absorber of infrared radiation. Then scrolling down, we did one example, explain to you why we actually wear white clothes in the summer, why they absorb the least amount of thermal energy. 
And last of all, if someone gives you a mug of tea, you usually choose the white mug. The reason why is because it lets out the least amount of infrared radiation. Therefore, your tea stays hotter for longer. Right, and that's it for another session of Sarazzle Dazzle Physics. Make sure you like and subscribe to keep my channel going. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer them. And take care, goodbye, and good luck.